Hello fellow Dollar Warriors, I am Zaldar and welcome to another uh, Warhammer 2 online battle. So on to this one, I'm having some fun time with the Tomb Kings as you can see here and I'm playing off uh, against the, the, uh, the Dark Elves. So uh, let's take a quick look at my army over here. As you can see I get uh, one, two, two Tomb Guard along with the Kepra Guard over here. I get one, two, three Skeleton Spearmen. I get uh, the Blessed Legion of Fath, just uh, one normal Skeleton Archer. I also got uh, some Usapti Great Boss here, just uh, the simple ones, not Chosen of the Gods or something like that. I also got uh, Setra the Imperishable, just on a horse, just uh, because I wanted to keep the Anti-Large in case uh, he brought Malekith on a Dragon. And over here I get the Tomb Prince also on a horse, which I'm gonna be riding these two together in order to get uh, that uh, physical uh, resistance he provides to my lord. Where is it? Um, is that it? There's, yeah, there it is, the Guardian effect, which uh, protects my lord. And over here I get the Necrotect uh, just to heal any Usapti or even my Scorpion. Uh, so. Also back here I get two carrion units which uh, I just need to send them into any enemy missile units. Uh, a weird formation uh, from me over here because I was uh, I thought for a moment there that I had locked uh, my group but uh, as, as I tried to get them forward I uh, immediately found out that uh, I didn't. So I had to reset all of this, I had to just uh, stop for a tiny bit over there and just uh, reform all the line then try to move up again. So for my enemy over here, a very competitive build uh, with a lot of uh, missiles, uh, missiles and uh, armor piercing and stuff like that. Over here he has got one, two, three, four dark riders with repeater crossbow. Is gonna, uh, these guys are gonna be a pain in the ass. And one, two, three sages with um, is that uh, no the dual weapons? It's just the normal uh, variant. In the back he's got one, two, three spearmen and also four black arc corsairs. So a really nice build, uh, heavily focusing or taking down any uh, <laughs> any targets that needs to be taken out like constructs and stuff like that. And uh, over here we get Malakith. So let's see, he's got the Geese of Malice, a Soul Stealer of course, Chill Wind and uh, Power of Darkness. And uh, Spiteful conj uh, Conjuration along with the Noxious Breath. Uh, did I forget about anything? I don't think I forgot about anything. So uh, let's uh, hit start and see what happens. So I finally f uh, managed to reform my army and I'm actually moving it uh, in the front. I actually deployed here in the woods because I didn't want to uh, just give him the edge of uh, running uh, uphill and uh, without cover. And this is like, uh, if he wants to attack me over here, it's like even ground. It might be like uh, slightly in my favor. It like uh, this terrain over here if he tries to come from uh, up uh, from down there walking up here it's gonna be like uh, an uphill advantage for me so I see that he's got a ton set of missiles all over the place so I'm gonna immediately send my two carriers to chase like uh, dark riders and some sages all across the board and I'm gonna gonna stay here for a little bit because I wanna read his army I wanna see what the hell has he brought and uh, as soon as I see this I'm like oh my god this is gonna be really uh, weird to fight and win. So uh, let's go ahead. As you can see, I'm uh, trying to uh, fend off any fire to my Usapti or stuff like that. So I'm gonna be pushing my infantry in the front just to uh, make enough room for my guys to uh, not get shot. Because this guy's can't reach all the way down here. As you can see, one Dark Rider unit is being taken uh, out almost immediately. The Skeleton Spearmen are gonna try to engage uh, unaffectively with the Black Arc Corsairs, but they they still do uh, will do their best. One Carrier unit is actually going after the Dark Rider over here, which is obviously into skirmish mode. And uh, the other one, I think I'm gonna turn and send it over to the Sage over here. Uh, unfortunately, I forget, uh, not, I didn't forget, I was actually baiting my enemy with my Usapti over here. I'm gonna immediately turn back with Setra and the Tomb Prince. Uh, I just need to find them. I'm also gonna send some Spearmen. And uh, over here in the front line, the Kipra Guard are holding down like two units. They're taking quite some damage, but uh, they're gonna go down after these guys are dead, most likely. Over here, as you saw, uh, his uh, Malekith is coming down, he's taking the bait, and uh, the Tomb Prince along with Setra is over here. And also the Spearman, Knight still wind from my enemy over there, doing some uh, good job. Uh, the Carrion Hunters, uh, are these guys large? No, they are infantry based, that's good, because uh, these guys won't have a bonus. So, they're keeping uh, pinned down the Sage over here, the other Carrion is still, uh, where's their flag? 
Oh, it's uh, way back here. Why the hell? Anyway, so these guys are still chasing the Dark Riders. There's gonna be some crossfire from these guys as well, but uh, who cares? As long as they are uh, occupied, not shooting my targets, it's okay. Uh, as soon as Malakith comes, uh, tries to get back into the air, I'm gonna try to pin him down with some Usapti fire over here anytime soon, I hope. I'm gonna leave the Spearman close to my Usapti in case he tries to come back. And I'm also gonna keep uh, close attention to Malakith. If, he, if needs be, these guys will just ride to the rescue almost immediately. So the Kepra Guard is uh, finally going down, but it took like... Uh, a lot of guys here, like uh, double uh, Black Arc Corsair and also a Dread Spear. In the middle, over here, the Tomb Scorpion is riding back and forth. Uh, I had him uh, up there for a little bit, then I brought him back. Malekith is trying, uh, is trying to do his thing, uh, things again. Trying to fly above my head, uh, which is actually a good move because it gives the time for these Black Arc Corsairs to get into the fray here. Uh, this Tomb Guard is uh, overextending and uh, honestly, uh, the place he's in, it's a really bad place at the moment because <laughs> he can just get shot from every angle. Over here, the Carrion are still keep going like, and they actually doing a lot of damage to the Sage as you can see. So over here, I'm trying to get uh, this Tomb Guard a little bit back because uh, I don't want to overextend at this point. Uh, as you can see, he's slowly uh, shooting me down all over the place. Uh, Cetra and the Tomb King, uh, Tomb Prince are gonna just try to fend off this guy, but uh, they're gonna start immediate, immediately coming back. As you can see here, I made the mistake of taking the spears uh, a little bit far, so he's gonna try and snipe out the Usapti. I think uh, the unit model is like 9, so maybe 2 uh, managed to get killed. And he's also gonna try to get uh, my Blessed Legion of Fat. Over here the Tomb Scorpion is racking up up to 65, 66 and keep rising kills. Uh, it's doing quite alright, uh, it's what's uh, keeping me into the fight uh, still. Because uh, all I'm with left uh, at the moment is mostly missile units. Uh, they're good, don't get me wrong, they can just, uh, as you can see the Blessed Legion of Fat is shooting down Malakith over here who is being probably forgotten. Uh, Cetra is gonna just try to wander around, just uh, try to get as many kills as he can, uh, just trying to fend off any shooting from these Dark Sages and Dark Riders. Over here I summon my Usapti, as you can see, uh, just to help uh, with that fight over there. Uh, I think I, managed, I summoned it somewhere on top of a ranged unit, but anyways, I guess there were Sages uh, involved in there. The Usapti and the Blessed Legions of Fath are actually trying to get Malakith ineffectively, but he's still uh, like uh, 1600 health at least. Over here, Cetra and the Tomb Prince are just doing an amazing work, just uh, keeping this whole blob down, and uh, the Usapti are coming here to help, but there we go, uh, there we go they crumble. Uh, so, uh, I did the mistake of somehow leaving my back line open over here, but I'm just gonna uh, send my Spearman to protect over here, I don't know what... Uh, oh yeah, I sent back this Tomb Guard just to take a quick uh, care of uh, this Black Arc Corsair. Because all of the rest is just uh, Sage and Dark Riders, they won't be able to do much. The, the Black Arc Corsairs almost immediately uh, break, they can't fight uh, that off. The balance of power is a lot uh, in my favor as you can see, uh, which is which is not uh, the case. Uh, I think uh, this uh, this is like uh, a placebo or something, uh, uh, balance of power. Anyway, uh, so Malekith is just trying to keep away because he knows he's being targeted by uh, Usapti. I haven't seen the, uh, this Dark Sage just uh, shooting me in the back over here, taking out my Usapti slowly. I should have taken a quick, uh, quicker look of these guys over here, just starting immediately, immediately to shoot them with my archers. Uh, these guys can melt pretty easily. How much is their armor? Yeah, just 30 armor, they would be taken down quite fast. The, uh, as you can see, the, the ammunition of my enemy is starting to uh, wear down a little, little by bit. Only these Dark Riders uh, have uh, plenty of ammunition and this one's... Oh, and the Dark Shades. This one's almost run out and this one's too. And there you go. My Usapti are finally down. At least I got uh, almost full uh, utility of, out of them. Like, uh, can, you can see here, like, they only got, like, uh, how many shots? Three shots left, so they used most of their stuff. Um, now... This is the hard part, like uh, I'm only left with ranged units and not even that because even these two boys just uh, run out of ammunition. So I only got the Tomb Scorpion, Cetra, at least he's at good health, the Tomb Prince, the Necrotect which uh, he has been providing with some nice heals in the Tomb Scorpion, that's why he's still so high health. 
because he was being targeted by Dark Riders uh, and uh, Sage and stuff like that. The balance of power massively in my favor and uh, I'm still saying it uh, that uh, this is not the case here. This is not really the case. Uh, Spearman, I'm gonna try to get all of my troops together because uh, this guy's only got like one shot uh, still left and these guys have run out. He's getting a nice really chill wind over here just trying to slow these guys down and they will actually take a lot of damage because uh, what's their armor like? Just 30 armor. Yeah, these guys are very susceptible to the chill wind. Uh, over here, I, as you can see, some ammunition still left. All he's gonna try and do is just uh, run back and uh, run back and forth. Is that a soul stealer? Yep, it's a soul, uh, soul stealer. And this Tomb Prince is actually taking significant damage. Like, he was one moment he was like 80% health, and now he's like 3. He's gonna go down real soon. And Sentra uh, is gonna be left alone over there. Balance of Power just hopping back as you can see. Uh, the Tomb Scorpion is gonna try to get in here just to clean off uh, the house. And uh, finally these guys are starting to run out of ammunition. And uh, he's gonna actually try to snipe my Necrotech which has used all of his spells, all of his skills. So uh, there's really no point. At least I take uh, advantage of it and just come with Sentra and the Tomb Prince just for one final strike with him over here as you can see he's... Uh, only on uh, 100 health he's trying to storm me from from all sides it's it's really looking bad guys it's really looking bad like this uh sage still got ammunition just uh able to shoot uh freely these spearmen are crumbling under uh, 1000 health and still going down Setra is taking uh quite some damage the tomb prince is dead no physical resistance for that guy and he's now gonna start cycle charging uh, uh, uh with his cavalry and also malekith He's just trying to bait me to bring uh, my large constructs etc over here so he can go and just uh, pick up the Necrotect and all these guys alone. So I'm gonna fast forward a little bit here. As you can see he's just uh, shooting his last ammunition before coming in, he's dropping some breaths and uh, all he's gonna try and do now is just uh, divide and conquer. That's uh, that's the way to go. Setra over here gets a nice uh, blow. Uh, what's that spell uh, called? Like, Let me find out. There you go. It's the Wrath of Petra. So uh, Malekith with 20% uh, health, he's dropping down on Setra and as you can see the balance of power is heavily starting to tilt uh, against my favor. Uh, he's trying to snipe out uh, Setra with uh, his dragon over here. Setra is only on 700 health. Uh, he really has a lot of uh, stuff all over the place. And uh, all he needs to do now is just uh, get another charge with Malekith and uh, Setra is gonna be down. Just uh, look losing me the game just uh, get me to lose the game so let's see how that went uh the dark sages uh they're not gonna do much although i think they get a high melee attack and defense yeah 41 and 33 although they don't have armor piercing in the melee as you can see here cetra goes down uh the balance of power starting to tilt in my favor and this is where i say to myself oh frack i lost so uh, it was actually late at night, uh, I didn't have any lights turned on, it was just uh, the light from my screen, I, I couldn't see the keyboard and uh, I just uh, turned my head down in order to see better because I couldn't see where the keys, uh, where the buttons were, just to write GG, good, uh, good game. <laughs> and as soon as I get down to see where the buttons are, I write GG and like two, it took me like two to three seconds and then I just look up and this is what I see. My Tomb Scorpion. <laughs> my tomb scorpion uh come on let me see that there you go malik it's 65 health he was actually telling me uh writing me on chat as well gg uh and i was like uh you won that uh fair and uh, as soon as I turn my head up, like again, I see Malekith going down and I was like, Oh, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> and uh, there you go. Uh, this Tomb Scorpion is gonna fight to uh, the last man over here. These Sage and Dark Riders cannot hurt it. Not without any ammunition. Even the Necrotech is gonna uh, route all of these guys and uh, the Tomb Scorpion is doing his things over here. So a game which uh, pretty much looked uh, in my favor from the beginning actually went uh, really heavily against my favor because he was able to snipe out Cetra quite handsomely over there <laughs> and when I was about to write GG and just uh, uh, 
tell to him that he it was a really good game. I turn my head right back up and I see that I, I'm actually winning. Uh, I I honestly didn't even send the Tomb Scorpion after Malaketh. I was like uh, dropping orders, uh, not giving any orders, and I, I just see the Tomb Scorpion going on his own on onto Malaketh. It was really funny, and uh, my enemy he wrote me like GG, you you did well, and like uh, two seconds uh, later he's like oh shit. <laughs> it was really funny. He actually added me on Steam after that uh, just to uh, message me <laughs> that uh, it was like a really sick game. So let's take a look at here. Setra did uh, quite a, quite a job, like a uh, hundred kills. The Necrotect, uh, it, he was just there to keep the Tomb Scorpion alive, honestly, and uh, the Tomb Prince just protecting Setra. Uh, the Spearmen did their things like uh, screening and uh, fending off any ongoing attacks. The Tomb Guard did actually quite well, like 48, this guy didn't do well, 63 on the Kepra Guard. I could have done better, but it was like a really spread out uh, build my enemy had over here. He was like a uh, divide and conquer tactic uh, and uh, I just couldn't keep my troops together, otherwise I would just get shot to the death. Uh, 31 uh, kills for the Skeleton Archers, which is quite good, 22 for these guys, but uh, they got the armor sundering, so that's okay. The Carrions, uh, they didn't get many kills, but at least they uh, they fend off some of the Dark Sage and the Dark Riders. 52 kills with the Usapti, Great Bow, and uh, they actually were the ones that took uh, Malekith down to like 20% uh, health. And also Setra as well, and the Tomb Prince uh, helped in that uh, regard, but uh, anyways. And the Tomb Scorpion, 162 kills, which is quite amazing, and uh, he was like full health throughout the whole game due to the Necrotect over here. He only dropped uh, like uh, down that low at the end over there. Malekith, 67 kills, quite handsomely. The Dread Spears just uh, doing their things, which is just be there and uh, just, uh, get, uh, just keep the enemy occupied. Uh, the Dark Arco uh, Black Arc Corsairs did actually quite well, like uh, they mostly beat me, beat my Tomb Guard, which is, uh, is kind of funny, like uh, this unit costs like 800, this one costs like uh, 700, if I'm correct, so uh, yeah, quite a cost effective uh, trade-off for my enemy, for my opponent over there. The Dark Sage, as you can see, they did quite well, 39, 80 and 46 kills and uh, they were actually aiming for high available targets along with the Dark Riders. The Dark Riders were just, uh, I except uh, two or three, uh, two guys which uh, were being chased by my carrions, all the rest were just able to free shoot at me. Uh, and that's how it went uh, guys, like uh, <laughs> where it seemed almost impos impossible to win, I actually won. So I really hope you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like or a comment and I'll see you next time.